Welcome back to Pwned Own Austin 2021, where our second day of competition was even busier and more intriguing than the first. Our day began with the NCC group needing all three attempts to compromise the Western Digital MyCloud Pro NAS. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a fist bump. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Holy cow. No, no. Nicely so done, gentlemen. Not. But their successful attempts and their quick thinking set the tone for the day. This was just one of eight winning entries during the day. Trich Matrich also used nearly all his available time before compromising the Cisco RV340 router via the WAN interface. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another big highlight of the day was when the Synactive team took over the Sonos One speaker to serenade us with a stirring rendition of Baby Shark. Baby shark oh, there we go. So when you could take over a smart speaker and make it play uh, enough music so that you don't get a copyright strike from YouTube, that's a winning entry in my book. Of course, not everything went smoothly for all contestants. Five entries today resulted in bug collisions, mostly due to exploits that had already been used by a competitor during the competition. You, you can, uh, Kevin, stream the camera, the overhead camera. Yep. Okay, Bob and Cal, old school. In these cases, the researcher still receives financial compensation and master opponent points, just not at the same level as the person who first used the exploit. Our daytime entries also saw one failure, as the Moss Offensive team could not get their exploit against the TP-Link router to work within the time allotted. Yeah, I think it's a failure attempt. It's a failure attempt? I think it's a Oh, well, that's unfortunate. As we wrapped our live stream for day two, we had awarded $332,500 for 14 unique bugs. Once the cameras were off, Pwn to Own After Dark continued late into the evening as nine more entries were completed. This evening session proved to be quite hard hitting as only the NCC group and DevCore teams walked away with successful exploits of the Lexmark printer. The remaining attempts all either met with failure or bug collisions. With the evening session complete, it brings the day two total awards to $415,000, and we're at $777,500 for the entire event so far. The Synactive team maintains a small lead over the DevCore team in the Master of Pwn standings, but with 16 entries left over the next two days, anything is possible. Join us on our third day of competition as we have 12 more entries lined up, with four more on our unprecedented fourth day of Pwn Stick around for more great research and to see who claims the title of Master of Poe. <laughs>